Dear viewers, welcome to Pharmacy Day by Asim. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the Marburg virus disease (MVD), which is a rare but severe hemorrhagic fever which affects both people and non-human primates. So let's get started. Marburg virus is a zoonotic virus that is initially transmitted from animals to humans. The animal reservoir in nature for the Marburg virus is the African fruit bat. Marburg virus is clinically similar to the Ebola virus and can lead to Marburg virus disease, formerly known as Marburg hemorrhagic fever. Marburg virus infection can occur in humans after close contact with an infected animal or its body fluids and through contaminated food products. Marburg virus replicates after entering infected host cells through attachment, endocytosis, and fusion. Dear viewers, the signs and symptoms of Marburg virus infection typically appear 2 to 21 days after exposure to the virus. Early signs and symptoms of MVD typically consist of fever, chills, headache, sore throat, weakness, and muscle aches. As MVD progresses, diarrhea, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, rash, and the severe hemorrhagic signs and symptoms may also occur. In severe cases, confusion, seizures, shock, multiple organ failure, and death may follow. Individuals who survive MVD typically undergo a slow recovery as the Marburg virus usually remains in the body for several weeks. Individuals may experience long-term signs and symptoms such as hair loss, liver inflammation, weakness, fatigue, headaches, and eye and testicular inflammation. For viewers, an important question that should be acknowledged is that how MVD can be diagnosed. So MVD may be diagnosed using throat and nasal swabs, cerebrospinal fluid samples, urine samples, or blood samples by ELISA testing. ELISA stands for enzyme linked immunoassay. It is a commonly used laboratory test to detect antibodies in the blood. RT PCR, immunoglobulin M or immunoglobulin G capture ELISA and virus isolation by cell culture may also be used in diagnostic measures. Now let us discuss the treatment of Marburg virus infection which is limited to supportive care typically after hospitalization which includes rest, hydration, oxygen and treatment of specific symptoms upon onset. Intravenous or oral fluids may be provided to replace lost fluids, stabilize electrolytes and maintain blood pressure. Blood transfusions may also be provided to replace lost blood and clotting factors. While there are not currently any approved drug treatments for Marburg virus infection, immunotherapeutic treatments known as monoclonal antibody therapies are currently under development and evaluation for treatment of MVD. Antiviral therapies such as remdesivir and fabiparavir have been used in clinical studies for Ebola that may also be tested for use in MVD. So viewers, that was all about the Marburg virus disease. If you like the video, please share it and subscribe to our channel Pharmacy D by asking if you haven't subscribed to it yet. And if you have any queries, you can write them down in the comment section below. Keep watching Pharmacy D by asking for more informative stuff. Thank you.